100 million years in the future, a huge rainforest. Dark, dense, and crowded with life. But this forest is really bizarre. Not because of what lives here, but because of where it is. These lush forests cover the land that was once the frozen continent of Antarctica. Today, Antarctica, lying over the South Pole, is buried under thousands of meters of ice. So cold and bleak, it's almost empty of life. Well, Antarctica, which is presently located over the South Pole and glaciated, has in essence been sterilized of most living things by the presence of the ice that has just literally rubbed them off and offers no place for an animal or a plant to grow. But Antarctica hasn't always been an icy wilderness. Long ago, it was covered in forest. And it could be again. Because Antarctica is on the move. As we approach 100 million years in the future, it begins to move off the South Pole, move northwards into warmer environments. But during this process, as it is in the present day, it has remained an isolated continent. So the only way that organisms are going to get to it is by long distance dispersal. And this means that only certain kinds of organisms, things like birds or plants that have very small light seeds, only certain organisms are going to make it. And the end result is that the kinds of, of communities of plants and animals that develop on Antarctica are going to be highly unusual. These Antarctic rainforests are crowded with life. A hundred million years in the future, Antarctica will be much further north than it is now. It'll be very different. It's not going to be covered in ice. It'll have trees and vegetation, and all the animals which go with a habitat like that. The continent is moving, and as it drifts north, away from the South Pole, the ice begins to melt. Further north, and the bare surface of the land is exposed for the first time in millions of years. As soil developed, grasses and sedges turned Antarctica green. Eventually, millions of years later, Antarctica arrived in the temperate zone where trees could grow into the first forests. And once Antarctica reached the tropics, the cool temperate forests were replaced by dense rainforest. 